Joining me right now, Congress of Racial Equality Leader Niger Innes and former White House advisor under President Clinton, Doug Schoen. Good to see you both. Doug, Good I mean, to see my you, Trace. goodness, I mean, they just won't stop. And I find it historically just so wrong and, and culturally insulting, frankly, to anyone who lost a family member. Uh, during those horrific World War II years, whether it was in a Nazi Germany concentration camp or whether it was a, a family member who, who fought to, to free Germany. I mean, you got these guys out there, these young guys trying to say that the, the, the administration is the equivalent of the Third Reich? Come on. Well, I guess I, I come at it uh, a slightly different right, way, but reach the same conclusion, Trish. I am proud that our embassy is now, because of President Trump, in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. I'm proud that this week he recognized the sovereignty of the state of Israel over the Golan Heights. Uh, to compare a president who has a 95 percent approval rating in Israel to someone who has anything to do with Nazi Germany is to me ridiculous and on immigration call jay johnson uh obama's uh uh secretary for homeland security who said we have a crisis at the border acknowledging what the president said what we need is um immigration reform not crazy absurd rhetoric yeah you know as i started off the show um what i was saying was they're not, uh, you can have immigration reform and you can have border security. I mean, actually, you should have both. They go hand in hand. Absolutely. And there are Democrats right now, Niger, that are saying, oh, no, no, if you want border security, then somehow you're racist against Hispanics that would want to come here. No, you can have strong borders while simultaneously inviting people to come here and participate in our great country, in our great economy, uh, but, you know, make it easier for people to do it the right way. Some of the folks that want legal immigration, want border security more than any other, are Hispanic Americans. There are um, polls that are showing that Trump's popularity with the Hispanic community is going to go through the roof if he's successful at implementing his immigration policy. Look, the Democratic Party, I can't wait for 2020 because I've got my popcorn out because watching the Democratic Follies, also known as the presidential campaign, is going to be hysterical. The Democratic Party of Bill Clinton, circa 1992, of JFK, of RFK, of even Jimmy Carter in 1976, of Doug Schoen uh, yeah, in the old days when, when he was, was a, an advisor Democrat. to Bill That Clinton. Democrat Party is long gone. It is buried. It has been replaced by a group of angry, hateful uh, folk who are going to be competing to see who's most crazy. Well, look, Doug, you predicted this in your book where you looked at Venezuela and the threat of socialism, and you've predicted that, you know, socialism, if we go down that path, it's very hard to recover from that. And that's exactly the well, path the Democratic Party is going down. I, I did say it, and I appreciate your acknowledging that, Trish. Thank you. But I never thought that we would have the Maduro Chavez wing of the Democratic <laughs> Party. Basically, Democrats who embrace Cuban style or Venezuelan style socialism. It's absurd, demeaning, and ridiculous to the values that made our country what it is today. So, and speaking of anti-Semitism, you know, this is the same Democrat Party. They've got the nerve to be hypocrites. This is the same Democratic Party that could not condemn Oman for the anti-Semitic statements that she's made. There are large segments of the Democrat far left-wing constituency that Doug made reference to, the Maduro Chavez wing of the party, that are virulently anti-Semitic, that do not believe that Israel should exist as a Jewish state, that would want to wipe it off the map. That is a part of the Democratic Party today. Well, I mean, that's tragic, right? Because, it, it, as you it said, is this tragic. is not the party. Of, you know, and by the way, that's not the party that can win. I mean, they're out there trying to destroy Joe Biden, Doug, who, you know, had Joe Biden actually run, I say he would have given Donald Trump a, a run for his money in 2016. They just made the mistake of, uh, you know, putting forward Hillary Clinton. I know you like her and everything because you're, you're close to Bill, but let's face it, she's no Bill. 
well, she's no bill. I didn't support her, though I have worked for her. And I would say Joe Biden's now well ahead in the polls. Why does the left wing do exactly what Niger says they're trying to do, which is to drag him down and drag down anyone who's in the middle and is a uh, moderate, rational person? And to me, the left is intolerant, they're hostile, and they really are more about their own ideological purity than winning an election and offering an alternative set of positive policies to those of the president. What a shame. Niger and Don. It is a shame. Good to see you guys. Thank you so much.